Anthony and Sienna have a doomed romance in Bridgerton season 1, but what exactly keeps them apart? We break down the Viscount's identity crisis. You have me protecting you too. I will always protect you. Anthony and Sienna have a doomed romance in Bridgerton season 1, but what exactly keeps them apart? From beginning to end, the on-off couple arguably has the most passionate romance behind closed doors in the Netflix series, yet the concepts of time and familial duty continuously plague the mind of the eldest Bridgerton. Cannot see you anymore. Why do you not understand? Sienna's chosen profession also creates friction between the two star-crossed lovers. Fifteen minutes into Bridgerton season one, Anthony, Jonathan Bailey, can't stop looking at his father's watch after a sexual encounter with a Sienna, Sabrina Bartlett, an opera singer. It's not a major issue in the moment, but does indeed foreshadow Anthony's impatience and underlying concerns about fulfilling the legacy of his late father. Which is why I shall find myself a wealthy, sensible gentleman to keep me in high fashion. The Bridgerton series premiere, Diamond of the First Water, also reveals that Anthony has extremely high standards for his sister Daphne, frustrating her efforts to find a suitor after she makes her high society season debut and is declared the incomparable by gossip columnist Lady Whistledown. Plus, Violet Bridgerton, Ruth Jamel, challenges her eldest son about his familial duties, asking whether he wants to simply be an older brother or establish himself as the man of the house. You have no intention of marriage. Has that changed? I cannot claim so. And whatever could your intentions be? Respectful. Won't believe it there. Soon after, Anthony stares at his heirloom watch while lying in bed with Sienna and reveals that he cannot see her anymore. From Anthony's perspective, he's unable to carry on a relationship with Sienna because of their different social standings. You promised to care for me, my lord. And now? What shall I do now? He, as the Viscount Bridgerton, must marry well and find the ideal wife. The Bridgerton series premiere shows that Anthony doesn't think highly of creatives or eccentrics, at least when trying to find a partner for Daphne. Unfortunately for Sienna, she similarly doesn't fit the Viscount's personal criteria, as she's merely an opera singer with questionable morals. Sienna doesn't necessarily do anything wrong in fact, she appears to be genuinely smitten by the Viscount. Because of Anthony's identity crisis, though, she can't wait around for him to make up his mind about their relationship conflict. And yet you deprive me the luxury of sleep. A jewel at dawn. An affair of honor. If I live to see sunrise, I am free. When Sienna appears to set her eyes on the Duke of Hastings, read Jean Page, Anthony's Arxford classmate the Viscount unsurprisingly becomes jealous and tries to ignite the romance once again. The title of Bridgerton's third episode, The Art of the Swoon, encapsulates the Anthony Sienna drama. During a pivotal late episode scene, the Viscount makes his case for a romance, but Sienna recognizes that he's merely stuck in a repetitive cycle and reminds him that he'll always prioritize the Viscount title over everything else. Throughout the entirety of the Netflix series, Anthony does the best he can to play a certain societal role, but always comes running back to Sienna when he gets lonely or jealous. During the aforementioned confrontation scene, the use of color highlights the personalities of each character, with Sienna wearing all red to signify her passion and Anthony donning all black to underline his bleak life perspective, much like his pal the Duke of Hastings, who also wears mostly black during the first three episodes of Bridgerton season one. But what if we were to find ourselves in another situation, in a place where you and I might be accepted, with none of the Despite Sienna's firm stance on Anthony's behavior, she's unable to keep her distance. During episode 4, An Affair of Honor, she has sex with the Viscount before his duel with the Duke of Hastings and later gives into feelings of passion once again at a sporting event during the Bridgerton season 1 finale, After the Rain. Ultimately, Sienna reaches the epiphany that she must move on with someone else, whomever that may be, and that Anthony must let her go forever. In a telling and tearful goodbye moment, the Viscount behaves like a gentleman and wisely apologizes for his behavior. As Bridgerton season 1 comes to a close, the final image of a B foreshadows the next step in Anthony's journey as readers of Julie Quinn's eponymous series will know. Nothing of note, other than finding and promptly declaring my intentions to my new Viscountess, of course.